Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 73 in the FreeCAD series. A user on the forum has this file he presented. It's an STL file he downloaded from, I think it was Thingiverse. And what he wants to do is move this, this part right here, over to this arm. So that's going to be the subject of today's video. Now, let me show you which version of FreeCAD I'm using. It's a 0 0.19 revision 21654. Today is the 27th, so this is about 11 days out of date. I'm sure there's a newer version available. So how do we go about moving this over? Now this is a mesh object, so we cannot do some of the familiar Boolean operations in part workbench or in part design. We could convert this to a solid in part workbench. Let's go to part. We're not going to do it, but we could do it. Create a shape from mesh or create a points object from mesh and we could remodel this or we could make it a sh into a shape. Let me go ahead and do that and show you what that looks like. So this would be the new shape that we would have and then we could do boolean operations in part or put it in the part design and use a sketch to pocket this off recreate it over here but I'm not going to do that I want to show you how to do this in the part design workbench I'm sorry in the mesh design workbench but there are tools inside of there that enable us to do constructive solid geometry modeling CSG type modeling like I first showed you at the beginning of this series in the part workbench. So if you haven't watched those earlier videos, you might want to go check those out. So my plan is to use some mesh uh, primitives and boolean operations. I'm going to create a cube. You can see we have cubes, cylinders, cones, and the like. I'm just going to use a cube. Before we do this though, I want to check this model for issues. So in the meshes menu, as an analyze, evaluate, and repair mesh tool, and this will analyze these objects for issues that can cause problems later on. And you have different checks that you can do. This is similar to the check geometry tool in the part workbench. This this button at the bottom above uh, all above taste all above test together runs them all at once. And we see that there is one issue. It's a fold on surface. If we zoom in here we see that it's this face that's the problem. So what I'm gonna do this repair never works for me. I'm not even going to try it. Instead, I'm just going to fill this hole in. And I'll use this cube for that. So I'm going to right click here and choose Transform. This brings up the handy dragger tool. I'm going to drag it. Okay, if it hangs out a little bit on both sides. In fact, it's preferable. So this is in one millimeter increments. 
Let me change that to 0.5. Give us a little more fine, fine control. So I'm going to make it just above here. Then I'll do a common and then move the common down and do a union to fill that hole in. So we'll go to the meshes menu, boolean, and the intersection is the same thing as the common. So now we have an intersection object. And it's going to be the same exact thickness as the rest of this object. I'm going to move it as the Y direction. And then we'll do the union. So now the union is our sort of final piece, although we still haven't moved this object over to this leg yet. But I want to test this. No point going further if there's still a problem with it. All right, so no issues. Now, let me show you in the dependency graph. All of these are separate objects, so there are no dependencies. So we can reuse this cube without affecting previous Boolean operations. Let me show that cube again. So my plan is to do this, the uh, common with, with a section of this part here and then rotate it and put it back into position. So let's make the cube bigger. I'm going to make it 100 by 100. Let's try that. And then transform it over. Uh, put it back to 1 millimeter. common. So this part that's highlighted here is the common. Let me hide it and show you. And that's the part we just made. And let's right click here, transform, and rotate 90 degrees. Let's go 180 in this direction. Pretty close. I'll adjust the placement properties here in the in the property view. So six is too much. Since seven is too much that way, so I'm gonna say six point five. 
and that's still a little bit too much. Let's try 6.4, and that looks spot on. And now we'll do another union. So if this is a suitable object like it is, and it won't matter to have an extra clip, you could leave it like this. But we can also remove that clip. Let's test this object and make sure it's good. Yep, all good. Test each step of the way. That way you don't do unnecessary work that you have to come back and redo. Looks like we're off just slightly right here. just ever so slightly here so it's 27.1 six that looks pretty good yeah it's still off a little bit Might be the two legs are not identical. No way I'm going to get it absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to call that good enough. I will do that union again. So this could be the final object, and that would be okay, or we can cut this off, use the cube again. Let's see, right click, transform. So 80 looks spot on and then we can do a cut and we'll select our union first union 01 then the cube always the base and then 
the cutting tool and here difference is the cut so this will be our final object and hopefully it's all nicely lined up now and we'll do one final test okay so it looks good I could have simply cut this part off and dragged it around and put it here too but I thought it would be easier to get it lined up exactly the same distance from the corner by cutting all of this and rotating it or making a comment of all of it and rotating it alright well that's going to be it for today thank you for watching as always and have a great day